<clears throat> Hello and welcome. My name is Sam. This is the S33 Electrical Channel on YouTube. Today I'm going to share with you a solution to a problem that we have for a project we're about to to take on. It's going to be starting real soon. Um, I have a 4,000 square foot custom home that we're going to be wiring that's on a fairly large piece of property. And uh, the problem that we're having is the power distribution. So I have a temporary power pole at the top of the property by the road. There's a temporary pole next to a manhole and we went ahead and ran a piece of triplex down closer to the structure and set a temporary on the outside. But even from that temporary skid, or from the temporary pole we ran the triplex, set a temporary skid, and even from that point to the central part of the structure which is kind of in a T-shape, it's about a good 70 to 80 foot and uh, right now currently our extension cords are in the best shape and I wanted to be prepared for this so uh, I had a piece of plywood laying around and I had the stuff and um, I got a little bit creative and came up with a uh, hopefully a solution to the distribution so we can have our cords to run our whole hogs and uh, charge our batteries and all that so um, this is just what I came up with this is just kind of a a unique thing that probably most people would never um, never need or have a use for but since we have a channel on YouTube where uh, one of the big reasons why this channel was made was for uh, for these types of ideas just kind of share them um, but anyways like I said I had most of the stuff laying around and I just kind of put it together and uh, let me I'm gonna point the camera down you might lose my face but that's all right um, you'll still be able to hear my voice and you can kind of see what we're working with. This is a um, high quality piece of plywood. It was three quarter that I just had left over from another project. And um, what I did essentially is I took two L boxes, we mounted them. Uh, one is daisy chained to the other with a piece of Carflex and THHN wire. And then out of this other one, there's a piece of SEOOW cord that is sleeved out of the bell box, which if someone can uh, cite a code violation for that, uh, <laughs> I'd be interested to know. Basically, I don't know if you can see, but there's the car flex and the SEO cords just coming right out of it. Um, so in my eyes, it's fine. It's my stuff, and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna use it. But if you know uh, the code that says that that would be illegal on a, any other installation, I'd be curious to know what it is. So anyhow, it's pretty simple. Like I said, bell boxes, outlets, some covers. Uh, these are in-use covers that I broke the, the tops off so I want to be able to easily uh, plug in. Um, I wrapped some zip ties kind of around these straps and around the um, car flakes here for cords that are going long distance and directions. We can kind of use this as a, if they get pulled, instead of being pulled here out of the outlet, you know, maybe some the extension or the zip die can take some of that <clears throat> uh, pull instead. So that's the idea with these uh, zip ties. And um, basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run some number 12 cord to this, which will be in the central spot of the house, which is like in a T shape. And uh, plug this bad boy in right here. Just took a mill in cord cap, installed it onto the SEOW. And um, <clears throat> also made a couple of these. I bought 80 foot pieces of SJO cord and put these caps on there. Uh, one of my colleagues said that these aren't as durable as like what you would get from an extension cord, but uh, I uh, I don't know that for sure. We're going to try it out. I might add some tape around the edges here or on the uh, outside of these just to make them a little bit more durable. But I'm going to give it a try. Um, so I made this as well. And uh, so this, this building is a T. I'm going to put it in the central part. I'm going to run a number 12 extension cord from the skid to this point, and then from here branch out with extension cords going this way, going that way, going that way, and that'll allow us to have uh, plenty of power for um, or plenty of extension cords for the project we're doing. So it's going to be a it's a pretty pretty massive house. Um, but yeah, this is what I came up with. Like I said, it's just a piece of plywood. And uh, I took some two hole ridges straps here and installed them to the plywood. And that's kind of what holds the SEO cord in there, which I'll probably keep on there because I want this to be heavy. I want it to act like a, 
a weight to keep the um, to keep from moving around too easily, right? As long as it's not on a finished floor, it won't be a problem. And um, yeah, so when we walk up to the job or on the truck, or we get to the job or take stuff off the truck, I want to have all the cords. At least my initial thought is to have all the cords kind of wrapped up or stacked on top of this. So what you essentially you're doing, you're going to take this off the truck, carry it, and all your cords are going to be stacked up on top of this board. So you drop it in your central spot, and then you can take your cords off and start running them in the direction that you want it to go. Um, so this is going to be like something that I exclusively use for residential rough-ins. It's probably not something that's going to be um, on the truck all the time for everyday use. It'll just be more like, okay, we're wiring a house, let's grab that board right there and that way we have plenty of cords and it's not a problem. So that's it. That's what I came up with. Like I said, we're getting ready to wire a 4,000 square foot house. Um, we're actually really busy right now this time of year. Uh, the spring workload is kicking in and um, things are looking good for us. Uh, I'm going to try to be making more videos here coming up in the future. I'm thinking about uh, at least another one, an idea for another one for an electrician pro tip coming out real soon. Um, so we're definitely going to be making more content. Um, so until that next video, um, Guys, be safe out there. Make sure you're drinking plenty of water and take good care of yourself. And yeah, I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.